Health psychology content, treatment for drug misuse, token economy. Works on operant conditioning principles, whereby behaviour is said to be repeated if rewarded and not repeated if ignored or punished. Rewards can, be t- can take the form of positive or negative reinforcement. The idea is that substance misuse is maladaptive for the individual and needs to be changed. Token economy may be used with regard to drug to behaviour associated with substance misuse, as well as taking the drug itself. The aim is to replace the behaviour with more appropriate behaviour. That more appropriate behaviour is identified and might involve, for example, keeping appointments when on a methadone programme, attending counselling if that is deemed to be appropriate, or stopping taking the drug. Once the required behaviour is identified, instances of it are rewarded. The individual is given tokens for this approved behaviour, and the tokens can be exchanged for something desirable, such as visits or television watching. The tokens are positive reinforcers, though it is not the tokens themselves that are reinforcing, but what they buy. Punishing the maladaptive behaviour can also be part of the programme. Alternatively, negative reinforcement can be used to stop the unwanted behaviour. For example, privileges can be removed if that, is, if that behaviour is displayed. Steps within token economy. Clearly identify what will be given as tokens. Identify what the, be- what the tokens will buy. Identify what behaviour will be rewarded. Decide what tokens can be exchanged. Apply the programme consistently. Put together a program so that shaping can take place, such as cutting down smoking, then giving up. Contingency management therapy. A TEP in current use is contingency management therapy, which involves a voucher system where points can be earned if someone tests negative for drugs. Items that the points buy are those that encourage healthy living, the idea being to give rewards for further, that further promote healthy behaviour. This type of therapy is part of a rehabilitation program that discourages drug misuse and also encourages healthy living. Evaluation strengths. Studies show that such programs work in institutions. For example, Pierce et al. 2006 showed that continuous abstinence from drug use was twice as likely for a group that had the chance to win prices and get rewards as for the control group that had no such reward. The study was carried out with participants on a methadone treatment program and it was concluded that the program and the reward system work together to achieve greater success. A TEP is ethical in that it can suit everyone and is non-invasive and overt. Weaknesses. Staff must consistently reinforce required behaviour and with different staff this consistency may not be as easy as it seems to achieve. Such a programme can be time consuming and impractical. Other drug users and peer group members also reinforce behaviour and the behaviour they reinforce is likely to be different from that of the staff. Such a program can neglect the rights of the individual because staff and others have control.